Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Shay Spills Podcast. If you're new here, hi, my name's Shalan, aka Shay. I am a small variety streamer here in Ireland and podcaster. I have been podcasting, jeez, I'm going to say 2017, I think, 18, cannot really remember what year it started. But um, I have been streaming on Twitch since January this year and I decided in September to do something different and get out of my comfort zone really is to interview people and interview them about gaming streaming related as the series is new it's called Behind the Streams so I'll be talking to Irish streamers and international streamers as well and my first two guests I have are my two friends Nolig and Sharon and I met them through Fortnite uh, back in February of 2021 and ever since we've been friends since and I've been very lucky to know them and they were well they've been very kind to say they would do the podcast episode with me and they are my first one so we were all a bit nervous well me and Sharon were nervous I don't know about Nolik but we were nervous so um hopefully this release eventually when I get used to interviewing people <laughs> but hopefully it's 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 gonna be okay it's gonna be okay we're, we're, we're gonna be fine we'll be fine lads and just take a deep breath um with that it's an hour long so i hope you have a cup of tea in your hands or coffee or hot chocolate or an alcohol beverage maybe i don't know whatever you're into drinking sit down chill relax i hope you enjoy this one hour well it's supposed to be an hour um episode of behind the scenes. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now recording. <laughs> now recording. Um, all right. Introduce yourselves to everyone. <laughs> she, go first. You got to pick someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. Three, two, one. Hold three. on that way. Did you just say you're nervous? You just, you're going to make me so much worse now. I swear to God. Uh, what are you nervous about? It's literally just the three of us having a conversation. Give over now. Seriously. Yeah, true. Okay. Like. Sharon? Do you want to go first? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm Sharon. I am from Kerry. I am 26 years young. <laughs> um. And yeah, I've only been streaming recently, past what, two months now maybe? Um yeah, that's the basics anyway. Cool. Nolig. Um, my name's Nolig, uh, aka Glitched. I'm twenty two and from Cork. Um I love sports and I love music and I love video games and I'm streaming about mm, I don't know if I'm streaming a year at this stage. Started streaming properly when kind of lockdown and all that hit. Um, which are, and then tapped on the head. That's the most important part. <laughs> Always the most important part. People need to know that. Um, well, I guess with that, well, you already answered part of the question was, but how did you all get into streaming? Um, I mean, I got with the lockdown and stuff, I always kind of wanted to do it. Um, but I used to play PlayStation down in the sitting room, so I wasn't going to stream from my sitting room. And then during <laughs> lockdown, I brought my PlayStation upstairs, and then I was like, "Ooh, I can start streaming now." Um, and yeah, that's what I did. And I, like, as Sharon said, I like the sound of my own voice, so it works. Sharon All right, had... silence after uh, me. Like, go on. <laughs> I'm kind of similar. Um, lockdown, the very first lockdown, I started kind of playing properly I always I always played here and there after work and stuff but when we literally had nothing to do because I I only came back from Canada when everything went crazy over here so I had to isolate for two weeks so those two weeks straight I played Fortnite nearly 24 7 I would say um just with the with the lads and stuff um so I kind of kind of became a daily thing just to hop on with a few friends and stuff but the streaming and stuff didn't really happen until I would I am actually when the two of you kind of first started getting into everything that you were chatting about everything and I was listening to what you were saying and it sounded really interesting so I started watching a lot more people 
as Nolik would know, because she takes the piss out of me the whole time. <laughs> but anyway, um, I started, but it's it's smaller streamers that I prefer watching, I think, because a lot of everything that goes on, say if someone raids them or if anyone subs or anything like that, it means a lot more just because they might not be overly used to it. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to see that as well. Um, so yeah, I just saw kind of like how much enjoyment everybody got out of it and kind of getting to know a few people in different streamers chats and stuff. So I only started there, as I said, two months ago, roughly, and it's been good so far. Um, it hasn't gotten to the point yet where I have like a set schedule or anything just because I work full time as well. And it's it's kind of hard to kind of hard to do the two when I wouldn't have any free time to myself or anything then after work and stuff. So it will be more late when I'd be online and stuff. So, yeah. I hope um, I answered a question. I can't even remember what you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> no and like, obviously, uh, for anyone who doesn't know your like your streaming and all that, like, what games do you mostly stream? What have you? I mean, Fortnite is always the main one. Um, I tried playing a horror game the other day. That went well for about twenty minutes, and I decided no, I actually want to sleep tonight. Um, <laughs> no amount of money in the world can do that for me. Um, and then. Well, I I used to stream a bit of a bit of Warzone. I'm hoping to get back into that maybe when the the new one drops. Um, yeah, that's kind of those are the main ones. I I did split gate for a while while that was a thing, but mm. unfortunately that's not a thing anymore. So it kind of died now. I think. To be honest. Yeah, it's really disappointing because I actually quite enjoyed it. it. I really yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Fortnite as well, mostly just because. You get a lot of people on the whole time and it's obviously a lot better when you have people to bash off of in a game and stuff and all the creative modes and stuff are very are a lot of fun and um, gun game and stuff like that all the rage comes out there true colors <laughs> <laughs> um i also love playing rocket league but at the moment i've stopped streaming that because I, anytime i tend to stream it i always lose and i get so <laughs> angry and I lost my rank as well when I was on nine at one point because I kept losing. And I've just gotten so fucking sick of that. Sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to curse. You can curse. Okay. okay. Um, I just got so sick of losing the whole time. I stopped streaming it, but I actually do play it still. Um, so I think I just need to just practice it a little bit more before I start streaming it again. I'm still in gold rank and that's that's not high um compared to the other the streamers that I watch and stuff so I'm gonna just stick with it um COD and stuff I played at the very start I didn't enjoy it that much probably because I'm setting my ways with COD I prefer Black Ops 3 <laughs> um yeah that's kind of it for yeah I like the old I like the old <laughs> Black Ops games I must say um yeah Rock League and Fortnite mostly Obviously, well, this would be slightly different for you, Sharon, because, mm-hmm. but what has been the most memorable moments you can remember <laughs> from your first few months of streaming? That like, yeah, shoot. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I was saying, like, um, could it be a little different because of. Sharon it will, because it's short time, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, like, you can never forget the classic moment of Shay screaming at dinosaurs and me thinking, oh my god, what is going on? There's a massacre going on. <laughs> you, just, you know, it doesn't get better, much really better than that. Um, and really one of the biggest like kind of highlights for me streaming ways was the PA the House stream I did. Um, mm-hmm. The charity stream. So that was fun. That was a lot of fun and a lot of people got involved and we raised a good bit of money for them. So that that's always good as well to do something kind of a bit more worth worthwhile and stuff you know but um yeah no i, I enjoyed that whole day because we did we did a lot of different things that day i did it i did a charity i did, did a charity run on the treadmill i was getting people in tick that was a kind of a tiktok thing i think and then we did the stream on twitch um i can't remember i think that was i did kind of a weekend of it really that because i i wanted to do much more than i did the, originally on the first day so i said right we're gonna branch out and do more of it the next day as well so that was good fun myself then is a lot more basic um <laughs> got so such a short time um i'd say when i the, the first time i was streaming people could sub to me i think it was really nice just when i came on and you all came in and just 
subbed and stuff. That was really nice. Um, uh, there was there was also one of the streams when I first started out. I think I'd say it was my third or fourth time streaming, and Alan raided me, and he had I'd say at the time he had like twenty five to thirty viewers, and I didn't realize for a couple of seconds, and I saw it come up <laughs> on the screen on because I used to have on my actual monitor showing anytime someone comes in like anytime I get an extra viewer or I lose a viewer or whatever it just tells me so I don't have to look at my laptop um and it came up and it just goes there was like 25 viewers it's like what <laughs> so I looked at the computer and I was like oh my god what am I supposed to do with <laughs> <laughs> 25 people so that was funny that was nice so yeah that's and you actually um I remembered there was one game I don't know if you were playing Shay I know Nolik was anyway, she was laughing her ass off. But when you were, <laughs> when you were saying about um, when Shay was on about the dinosaurs and stuff, it made me remember when I was shooting at the chicken. Oh my god! There, there was someone coming up. Were you on that night, Shay? I'm not sure. Oh my god, Shay, oh. she literally raised. Yeah. She, she was shooting and she was like panicking and we were like, <laughs> Why are you, what are you panicking for? She's like, well, well on, I, everyone else was dead. And there was, I think this was like the last squad or something. <laughs> it was very close. So I, I put all the pressure on myself and they, they saw me. So I was legging it. I was running away and uh, they were building up behind me and stuff. And I was trying to avoid the shots. And it was actually OK. I was avoiding them. But then I turned around to shoot and I saw something coming over the hill. It was at, um, at the beach. So the sun was also shining at the, on the hill in the game. And I started shooting because I saw movement and it was a fucking chicken. And then they killed me from like the other side of me. <laughs> oh, she I like, it was she full on panicked. It was brilliant. I did, yeah. Oh. God. Yeah, so that was something funny as well. Um, and then I guess really, well, kind of, this is kind of a similar question, but what has been your favorite highlight from your stream? From one of your streams? I really liked the chicken moment. <laughs> it's hard to be. <laughs> It's just, it just is iconic, I think, like. I'm pretty hmm. sure it's clipped somewhere, isn't it? Oh, 100%. 100%. Or I recorded it or something, I can't remember. It's in the Someone chat. Someone definitely got that it was the chat. Yeah. Huh? Let's hope it is. I think sure, it that's is. That's why her name is Chicken Shooter in the chat. No, it was. It's not anymore. <laughs> Wait, what's the now? I hate some character from Free Guy, I think. That's Jody weird. Connor's character, I think they called me. Oh, I'm yeah. sure I'm still, like, Christmas Which something. is available on Disney+. Plus. Yes. Oh my god, actually, are you fun I've watched it since. No, I can't imagine how it was though. I didn't like it. What? Did you not? No. I, oh, I just good. kinda thought there was nothing to it really. I liked it. I thought it would be better. Yeah, like, I think the, towards was... the end it got funny, but that was yeah, it. Yeah, but I think it was a great way because like I took my parents to see it and like it was a like more understanding of like the game mm. gaming community and streaming community a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, totally. They, I mean they don't I mean, let's be fair. Some of the parents can't really understand streaming. Yeah. So. Mine definitely wouldn't. I haven't told any of them. Oh, <laughs> and then you've got my mum. Like, no, sure. Oh, I'm not living at home. Like, so I don't need to. If I was living at home, I probably would. Because hmm. anytime yeah. I was playing late at home, I'd be shouting down the mic like, yeah, nothing's changed. <laughs> and mom would be knocking on the door telling me to shut up. Like, because they were going to bed. <laughs> Then you have my mum, and she literally just hops into stream and she starts chatting to me and dropping bits. And she t- like she has no idea like what she's doing, but she's like, "Here, I'm. and I had to explain to her like the whole bits situation." And she was like, "All oh, right, okay, I bought a tenner worth of them." And I was like, "Mum, oh, drop cute. them there." So like she just comes in for like two minutes at the start of every stream, and she's just like, "Here, have bits," and I'm like, "All right, mum." But I oh, know she's, she's funny out bless her. It's cute. And um, what would your process on streaming, like pl- like your plans for... No, I said that wrong. <laughs> yeah. Go again, you're chilling. You What's the process on your planning <laughs> for your streams and socials? I mean, I kind of, I found kind of my platform uh, on TikTok originally. Um, and I kind of, I used to... I used to make a lot of videos and kind of just I post two or three of them in the evenings or whatever and um I do lives and stuff and I used to do um DJ streams on the lives and stuff and they were great fun and planning and stuff and they they were great crack I need to bring them back but um then in regards to Twitch um I've kind of finally settled a little bit into a routine which is which is great um 
but I'm hoping kind of future wise I have to I have to get a bit better at planning kind of because I want to I want to push a little bit more on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, but planning processes with uh, Twitch really, I try to almost always have someone to play with is one of my big things. So I bounce off other people. Um, you can't. Unfortunately, you can't always rely on a chat to be there to bounce off a chat. So it's always good to um, bounce off of somewhere, someone else and have a laugh, make a fool out of myself. And I'm really enjoying the com the competitive side of Fortnite as well now. Um, so that's also something to work towards. Um, but yeah, no planning streaming ways. I always just I suppose really I always make sure everything's everything's working right before I turn on the stream. Um, Sometimes stream does like to throw a few curveballs and be like, ha, ah, not working. Um I try to if I'm if I'm streaming on a day, I try to tweet and hype it up a little bit on Twitter. Um because I've got a nice little following there. Um I then kind of at the start of most months I do like to overlook the whole month and see, you know, like stuff like Halloween now, so that would be birthday stream and stuff like that. I'm I have a few different things in the works for that. And, you know, you try and plan a few different kind of special days to work towards as well. Um, and kind of, I suppose, there's always the basic things as well. you got to have food in the belly because otherwise I'm going to be cranky. Um, and have a bit of G fuel so I can actually kind of play okay. My answer is going to be a lot shorter than that anyway. <laughs> because um <laughs> mine, is, mine is so scattered because of work my hours are different every week so it's never going to be a constant set time to be able to to go on so planning and stuff like that never is really a priority for me at the moment I'll go on when I have time and since I haven't set up anything with like an external webcam through my laptop or anything like that I'm still using the PlayStation 5 camera so I'm literally just going live through the PlayStation and then I mean the that's laptop. okay though I know at the moment it's fine like no it's it's working fine for me at the moment and especially since I can't fully commit to it yet they're like I'm not stressing about it that was a dishwasher yeah, no, no, open sorry if you heard it <laughs> <laughs> looks like I actually I watch a, a girl like good friends with a, a streamer and like she has like a Is solid viewership <laughs> <laughs> always you um she's a solid like 30 viewer um viewership like most nights on streaming mm -hmm. she all she does is she streams from her playstation like but she's just great mm -hmm. entertainment like, like you know, yeah see it. you don't need you honestly don't need anything fancy you'll come across a few people i'm not talking about you now you're fine um you will come across <laughs> people this that is have, no I'm, honestly no like like you you'll have like some people would have way too much going on like on their on their stream and stuff when yeah. if if you have and like a bit of entertainment value or anything like that like if you can chat away then that's kind of all you need really yeah i do i I agree there there's a lot i, I think you have to find a good balance mm -hmm. in like what you've got going on in your stream sometimes there's just too much going on yeah and then sometimes then as well like it's it's fine for you because you're well able to chat away and stuff and mm -hmm. bounce off people but like there's people who just like who would just even stream the game and maybe their rage voice in the background not a camera or anything and and i understand some people don't want to do cameras and stuff and that's fair enough but that that means you have to have the the voice to back it up yeah yeah you need to be able to chat away and um i guess this is more of gaming than streaming at the moment but what was your first video game you ever played oh my first one was ratchet and clank because my I I made a deal with my dad that if at four years old if I gave up my my dummies I'd get a PlayStation <laughs> two and I got a PlayStation two and Ratchet and Clank was just out at that time and that was the game that was going with the PlayStation two and uh, oh obsessed with it the remake obsessed with that too I I'm so disappointed at the moment because I don't have a PlayStation five and I can't play the new one and I'm just like oh, that's all I want to do I actually um, need to get that. You do, and um, yeah, no, because if I got that now, I'd definitely set it up that I can stream it and stuff. But yeah, no, Ratchet and Clank, fucking brilliant game. Um, mine would have see the first console or any gaming type thing I had was the PlayStation Two because when I was when I was younger, I was just outside playing soccer and stuff like that. I didn't I didn't care about any 
any gaming stuff or anything like that but I got my PlayStation I went halves with my sister um mm. and I used my communion money so what age was I like eight, mm. eight seven eight or nine around there eight or nine, um yeah. so the first game would have been the game that came free with the PlayStation and that was Tomb Raider um, oh very very old one where she's in her mansion and you can lock her butler into the freezer and all this stuff <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was so much fun. That is not the person you want to lock in the freezer. Like, I know. They're the essentials. Um, so, yeah, there was that one. I actually don't think I ever finished it. I didn't think I had the patience back then to do it. Um, I also had Ratchet and Clank as well, because that did come free as a demo, too. Oh, my God, um, which one? I can't fucking remember what one it was. What was the, what was the game like? What... Um, was when you go into one part, of, it's actually... You do the trials. It's the first, the first one when he's trying to get onto that the the team, the squad thing. Oh right, okay, yeah, I know because I, I was obsessed with the the third so. one. But that no, was a PlayStation was... One game. Yeah, and... the one. Yeah, it's the one where he's trying to get onto the squad, onto the superhero people. I can't even think of their name now. That the, uh, the, the, the third that was definitely the first one, and like yeah. the, the third one then is um. But it, the one I had was it was a PlayStation One game, and with the PlayStation Two, you had to have a memory card for the PlayStation One to save your game. Oh, yes, and I okay. never had one. And yeah. what I used to do was I used to leave the PlayStation on, like total fire hazard. Like oh my, like literally, I'd you I would have to try and get the game <clears> done before it conked out, and I never was able to get it done because like after like two and a half days, it was just like not having it. Um. Mm. And it would just shut down, and that would be that. You'd go back to the start, but it, it, like that now with the Ratchet and Clank as well. Like with you with the Tomb Raider, never had like not that I didn't have the patience, but I was just really bad. When I was I mean, the intention span when we were that young, to be honest. I know, <laughs> but it, the, with the remakes, it was really great with the remakes because I, I was yeah. able to go and play them and get them done, Same, and yeah. it, was, it was it was such a nice achievement. Yeah. <laughs> I got um I got Tomb Raider the remake when it first came out. I had to get it just just for the the memories. More than anything, yeah. like not even worried about finishing the game. Obviously, I finishing it and stuff like that. But um, it was just more because it was one of the first games that I ever played, and I wanted the new one. Kind of thing. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm the worst at because I don't. Ha- I didn't have a PS2 or any PlayStation or game consoles when I was growing up. I just had my Nintendo Wii. Ah, uh, well, there's like not a Wii either. What, 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 good what, crack. What, what's your like original uh, uh, besides Wii Sports now that doesn't count right. like what was the game that you like first bought with that um Mario Kart was... I actually no you see I never had Mario Kart I actually borrowed it from a friend <laughs> okay um, well if you can get it for free and yeah, play it and that's yeah, good <laughs> yeah um it was I had a Zelda game Oh, nice. Yeah. I've um, never played the Zeldas. I haven't, but I've watched some stuff online. I'll yeah. look up the Zelda one there, but um, it was. There was this. I just remember because this was like the first memory of like the Nintendo Wii. I was playing it in this mission to fix this or climb up this tower to save some princess, I think, or something. Mm. And there was these wolves. Don't we all do that? I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and there was these wolves, and I couldn't go past the wolves. And every time I I would do it, I would get these massive goosebumps on my arms, and I had to stop playing. Oh my god, that's mad! I don't know. What, it's uh, the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. That's the game, two thousand and six. Nice. That's a good first game to have, though. Zelda. Yeah. That's Zelda's it. Yeah. Classic, like Zelda's still going. Mm. I, I just want to play Wii Sports now. You know, oh. I think the, the actual first game I bought was was Singstar. <laughs> you, you know, that was going on X Factor next year, lads. <laughs> X Factor's finished. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. I missed my opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I, I had I, Singstar on the PlayStation Four as well. I bought it again. <laughs> I had, I had, the, I got one or. I had one for the Wii and I had one for the PlayStation. I think mm. I got the PlayStation one because there was Paramore and Demi on it. Yeah, yeah, they had good songs. <laughs> they were good. They were good games, but like, I don't want to play them around anyone. <laughs> I wouldn't give a shit then. 
Uh, maybe on um, like a few beverages in, maybe. Mm. They're a good party game, in fairness. Mm. They're like Jackbox. Yeah. It's like something that everyone can play and just have a laugh with. Yeah, that's what you need. Um, so what would be your favorite video game character? Or who? I... Or they, I don't know. I mean, like, Ratchet and Clank are iconic. Um, and I love, I love the Crash Bandicoot ca- characters. But I really, if I, I, if I was to get any, like, say, tattoo in regards to gaming, it would be Aku Aku from Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Cool. Um, so I'm trying I, to think. Um, when, I was, when I was getting my tattoos the last time, actually, the, there was a design on the wall that she had done of Aku Aku, and I was like, oh, I kind of need that. <laughs> you, like, I honestly think mine would probably be Lara Croft, just going back to the very start again. Like, And when she Ooh. came out in Fortnite, I got so excited. I, would never, I wouldn't take the skin off when she first came out. Um, That's because you're the hearts for her. Well, like, she's not bad looking. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon's awakening. Um, <laughs> if, we're, if we're going into other characters, then this would probably just come from more the TV show than the game. But since it's a game, I suppose I can say it too. Um, any of the Pokemon. But I never played Pokemon growing up on console. I had the cards and everything like that. But I never, nerd, I, like... I never actually played it on console. So I'm going to put Charmander and Charizard, those two as well. Two favorites. Oh, yeah. Um, I like that. Yeah, and a few from Mario Kart and stuff like that. I love Toad. He's a helpless, helpless little creature. You love Toad. Toad is annoying. I like Toad. If you're playing Mario Kart and you're not begging for Waluigi, like, go away from Mario. Oh, no, I always go Toad. Waluigi is the fastest character. Do you not know that? Well, I still boy. win. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, you're on. You better find Mario Kart somewhere because we're playing that. I have it on the Switch here. Oh, I forgot you had one of them. I, really I forgot I had it too. <laughs> Shut red. <laughs> oh. uh, what was uh, a popular game everyone seemed to love but you didn't like? Mm. I'm going to say um, Call of Duty anyway. The new ones that came out, the open world ones. I just never really got into them. Warzone, like, yeah, it's just I don't know. I probably because I couldn't fucking play it, like, but <laughs> yeah, you were. Really bad. I never gave I never gave my chance to actually give it a go, like. I mean, yeah, like if you if you played it a little bit more, you would have been fine at this. Mm, um, I was decent in the old ones, like. Not you, too. You're living in the like. past. I know, but see, I'm stuck in my ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, by sit me down and have me play. Look, Advanced I might Warfare look. I'll give the new one a go. I'll give the. I mean, yeah, that's what I have my plan when it comes to it. I mean, popular games that I hate. I t- like. I used to like Minecraft, but I never played it. Like you know, oh my god, stay away from like the baddies and all that. Like I, d- I have no idea what they're called, and I don't care to be honest either. But they, I used to just, I used to love building things, and that was just me. But, um. When I was a little bit of a loner, I used to like building houses for myself um, and like keeping sheep and stuff. Or her imaginary girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I actually think I might have been with Jade at the time. <laughs> I was waiting Anyways. to see how long you'd mention her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you ever calm down on that one, please? <sighs> um, anyway. As- as if I'm not obsessed with someone at the moment, like, Jesus. But, um, yeah, you know, I think Minecraft would be one. And I have the love-hate relationship with Warzone, but that's more about, like, like I the total, like, concept of Warzone, I love. I love the, you know, different metas all the time and, you know, building your guns and, you know, it's it's good fun and I like, you know, I like the strategy behind this, you know. But... The kind of the, the the last few months of all the stuff that had been going on anyway with Warzone, I just kind of was like, right now nah, I'm not even going to bother playing that. And then like with the cheating and stuff, I'm hoping when Vanguard comes out, it'll be a little bit nicer to play. Um, I'll be, I think I I really think I will get into it then, and I'll be so down for it and you know excited to play it. But um, yeah, no, the only thing that really ever got me excited for Warzone recently was to wear my Rambo skin or. And then I was so disappointed because <laughs> I really wanted 
the Die Hard skin, um, the Bruce Willis skin, and I was. I saw that. I was so I was so sad because the what happened to me was I was going to just buy the Die Hard skin. I'd never seen Rambo, so I was like, I'm not gonna bother buying Rambo. Um, and Rambo came up, but they weren't displaying the Die Hard skin, and I was like, right, okay, I'll just buy Rambo, you know. And then as soon as I bought Rambo, the Die Hard skin came up, and I was like, I can't afford to pay forty quid for two skins on Warzone. Oh so, but Rambo then. Then I watched Rambo and I was like, you know what? I don't mind having this skin now. <laughs> Rambo's lit. Uh, if you had to live in the world of the last game you played, what world would that be? Fortnite. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> but I can't drive, so I'd probably die. <laughs> in what, what? what? Rocket League. <laughs> Rocket oh, League's last God. game I played. That would be so monotonous, though. There'd be just nothing to do. No. At least in Fortnite, there's food and stuff. Yeah. Like. <laughs> you can party. <laughs> oh, boys. Yeah. Um, She's skidding. <laughs> <laughs> if you could um, delete one video game, which one? But don't give any spoilers for anyone who hasn't played the game. Okay. Delete one? Yeah, just delete um, one you don't like. I say Minecraft again. <laughs> I don't have that online. Um, hold on. Actually, do you know what I'm going to delete? I'm going to delete that stupid horror game I was playing the last day. Dark What's Deception. Like, stupid, like, your one was so, like, you know... What's the words? She was, um, she was, she was just talking at me, like, as in, like, you know, thinking I was a nobody and all this. And all she's got is like a, this big chunky oak coming at me, like, you know. And you know, like, it's so annoying because realistically, I should not have been anyway afraid of anything that was going to pop up because anything that pops up in the first part of that game, anyway, it's not real. Like, you know, it'd be different if it was like an axe murder or something come towards me, but it wasn't. It was something stupid. I mean, I could say it because it's literally the first game. I was 20 minutes in. Um, it was the... Do you know the... You know, like horror films, whatever, and they have the monkey that claps. The, the one with the symbols? Yeah. Like, kind of me in another life, like, but... It just... it That's what was popping up and chasing me. Like, wh- why should I be afraid of that? And then it just, you know, it went me. I was playing easy mode because I'm really bad at games. But it was really hard. And I was like, you know what? No. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to play it up now so I can actually sleep tonight. Sure. So I'll just put on my, my PlayStation there to look at what games. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I, I actually, like, that. Like, it, was, it was so bad. And, like, I need to just go through, actually the start of that stream and just make a compilation of me just shitting my pants every time something popped up and make it a video but like i was hoping you know to kind of make it a bit more of a substantial video but after <laughs> after 20 minutes i was like nah bye there was kind of no point to it except getting scared and i'm like i don't want to get scared <laughs> um my one i found one and I think I'm going to have to say Iron Man on VR. I don't know how much you want me to say about it because I don't want to, to ruin it. Oh, but I, I was, haven't played that, so I don't I know. was just disappointed. <laughs> with it. Okay. I need to play that when I come down to you. And I, I was very excited. Like, Iron Man and Marvel and stuff is, is always a big deal for me. Um, And I was so hyped when it, when it came out. I had it pre-ordered and stuff, and it just, I was let down. <laughs> But yeah, that's no, probably something. I'm, I'm sad. That's something I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't obviously delete this because I bought it, but <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be jumping at the opportunity to play it again. Like, um, no. Obviously, Sharon is a console player. Noob. So, oh, are okay. you are PC gamers superior to console players? No. Just because you can get um, games like strictly for consoles and you might not get them on a PC. 
majority of games that come out on PC you can get on consoles, can't you? Um, no, that's not what she meant. I know, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Like you gave a perfect example earlier about Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, but no, she means good at the game, like. Ah, uh, well, that just depends <laughs> on if you're good at it or not, like. Well, no, let's say like okay, Fortnite. I get what you mean. I get what like, you mean. You know the keyboard <laughs> yeah. players versus console. I don't mean. know because I've never played on a keyboard, so. Do not get me wrong, controller, controller gang forever. But if if I was if I was ever to restart playing Fortnite, I would. I would yeah. go from mouse to keyboard and try that, but yeah. I w- I'm much happier to play controller and enjoy the game and um, get better on controller. And I'm gonna eventually buy a controller with paddles on the back, so that'll add another element to it and hopefully yeah. help with builds and stuff. But I just think <laughs> um, PC, like mechanical the pc just is a little bit easier for people i think like even stuff like now i can understand ps5 ways like you you remember you were always getting into the games faster than me hey. stuff like that stupid stuff like that that, that the, like with the pc i'm in so fast and like i know people who play on switch one of my teammates in my trio is plays on switch and he plays with 30 fps and i used to complain about having 60 fps on my playstation <laughs> It was ridiculous. Um, so like, and like, don't get me wrong. Like, he's unbelievable. He's way better than me at Fortnite. Um, but like, to like, imagine if he could play on a PC, how unbelievable he would be to actually be able to see things clearly, like on the game. Yeah. Um, on the the keyboard as well with building and stuff with Fortnite, it's supposed to be a lot easier, isn't it? It's just more buttons to press, like you've more of an option. Where it's just it's, yeah. it's a bit faster because you like you don't have to click into stuff like you would on yeah. the controller because there's not a lot of buttons on the controller. You have to do a little bit more, like yeah. I think we kind of saw the the true evidence of it when I was down with E and I tried the controller for the first. Yeah, time. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was very good. Yeah, <sighs> I think it's just a matter of getting used to either one, though. Like, if you gave yourself time and trained yourself how to use a keyboard or a controller, then I'm sure you'd be fine, like. 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. So what needs to be done by gaming companies, streaming networks, like Twitch, for female streamers? We're getting serious. I mean, I think there, could, there should be a little bit... I mean, do you know what, Reese? I th- the, With... Sorry, go on. go on. No, go on. You're all right. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's like, a, there is a lot more males um, streaming than there is females. But I do think that Twitch could help that by providing more contract opportunities and stuff like that for females. Um, I see a lot of females on Twitter and stuff. And they have, a, they have a very decent following and stuff on Twitch and have done a lot of work and stuff like that and deserve to be partner deserve to get some sort of con- contract from twitch um and that that would always you know like the more people see females streaming the more females will stream you know it's it's mm-hmm. it's the cause of reaction i suppose things um but yeah like you know that and like just advertising females um I mean, like, you want pennies and you can buy a ninja cup, like, but you can't go in and buy a Pokemon cup or whatever. Um, I think, I think as well, females have gotten a bad reputation because of the hot tub stream. I knew you'd touch on it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, Like, don't get me wrong. Totally go for it. Do your own thing. But I think females on, like, females on stream are expected to look impeccable and you know mm-hmm. use their their features you know rather than their, their gaming and their yeah. actual entertainment purposes mm-hmm. um yeah. they're still being but, sexualized in some ways yeah like the the classic example i suppose is sweet tales like yeah she they, she gets i mean she she has like certain things i remember one time saying like her top was pretty or something 
and like it was it was banned it was it wasn't allowed in the chat because pretty was a banned word and i really like i was like that's really cool like you know but um oh it's kinda, sad that she has to do that though yeah no yeah i know exactly um and i kind of like i found myself kind of the last few weeks i'm kind of like oh do you know i don't mind putting on a bit of makeup or whatever for stream do you know if it helps or whatever and i suppose it's kind of given me it, it it's given me a little bit of a boost in a sense where i kind of i'm like oh you know bit of makeup whatever now don't get me wrong i'm obsessed with myself either way but like <laughs> it's just you you kind of think oh is there something kind of along those lines that i need to be doing or do you know because when you look at big female streamers the majority of the time they're really really pretty like mm. they are they're just, that's one of the like, ones really, that I like, follow really, well. realistically like you wouldn't kick any of them out of bed for eating a pack of potatoes like yeah. alright mm. yeah um a touching on what you were saying there as well about like sponsorship and all that type of stuff if you did have a female streamer that was like the face of a group or whatever i think that would give a boost to to female streamers as well i watch um um a streamer called Callie. she does um rocket league and she actually just got signed with g2 i think the hmm. g2 um she just got signed there um with them and she she's really good and she can chat about absolutely anything and she's no problem giving out to people in her stream, which I think is great. So she she like stands her ground and stuff like that. So she's a, a proper strong streamer and just the fact that she got signed and stuff. But I'm it is more about giving them a lot more exposure, I think. Female streamers, because you, you still get lads talking shit about girl gamers and all this, like which has been going around for years and years. And it's it's just annoying at this point. I used to laugh at it a few years ago, but it, it is very annoying. That just because we're women that we're not supposed to be gaming. And yeah. it, it it just it nitpicks at me. Like on TikTok, I'll be scrolling, I'll have a few gaming stuff that would be coming up and it would be um it would be a female streamer after clipping something from her her stream and it would be her in it's in like a gun game or something in Call of Duty or, or whatever and mm-hmm. and it's a bunch of lads and they're like, Oh, we have a girl gamer, girl gamer, and then they they start saying all this shit to her and then she beats them and then they're all fucking raging like I have a feeling I know who you're on about but I yeah. fucking hate it it's right to be insane yeah <laughs> just fucking just accept it and move on like mm-hmm. it's ten times worse then if they lose against a girl and that's when it gets worse because they'll start shouting insults and everything and I think unfortunately that's not just in gaming it's life in general because I saw a video oh. during the weekend of um, two girls out in Dublin, let's say, and a fella came up to them and tried to flirt, and they said no, and he just decided to start insulting them nonstop yeah. and said some horrific things. Found out he was engaged, and uh, oh. his fiance, um, <laughs> his fiance is backing him up, and I'm like, did you not? Just oh my god, that? no! Yeah. See, that's <laughs> oh my those god, are the sort of girls that give us all a bad name. <laughs> Fucking hell. They they put us yeah. in these positions. Like, girl, reevaluate, please. Yeah. yeah. No, we can't say say that about everyone, like, but there is the few no. that just ruin it for everyone. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. It makes uh, us a lot more aware of what has to be said and, and what you do and stuff, which is also annoying. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And with that, from what have you learned from your mistakes in streaming so far? biggest thing is stop worrying about the viewer count i flow much better when i don't see my viewer count um i pretend like i'm you know i i I pretend i stream like i'm streaming to 100 200 people even if it's just one person you know because you just you're you're providing the entertainment and like you can't just decide oh i'm not gonna bother worrying about the entertainment because it's only one person um no that that's a, that's not how it works and that's not how you build um your following and stuff like that um i think as well i need to push a little bit more with all social media platforms not necessarily social media i suppose even with the likes of youtube and stuff you know content platforms um which i do 
plan on doing, especially like uh, and I'll be working other parts of my, I suppose, <laughs> my life into the content that I do produce. Um, and I think then sometimes just something something so simple that you it's so easy to get wrong when it comes to streaming because the streaming gets so complicated sometimes um just having a good audio and picture because people people just don't want to sit there and listen to you you know fading in and out or they don't want to watch a game that's all grainy or they don't want to watch not even all grainy but like if the picture isn't you know watchable they're not going to watch like what are they what, they're not tied down to watch you you're trying to grab people and like starting off with those basic things being wrong um well not wrong but not being up to standard i suppose to the best standard that you can possibly produce um you're automatically like rooting yourself out from gaining following um yeah go on. i was just going to ask you what was the question again because i was listening to intently to know like your friend <laughs> <laughs> What have, As you learned, what have you learned from uh, your mistakes from streaming so far? All right. Well, I suppose I haven't streamed enough to, to know if I'm making mistakes or not. Have I? Do have any of you noticed anything? No, to be honest. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Actually, now that you mention it, <laughs> I didn't like it when... Um, <laughs> <laughs> well have you uh if you had any advice uh for any new streamer what would it be charming this is what i'm gonna tell you <laughs> yeah i was just about to say direct this at me now guys <laughs> ah no I, I, what i what i kind of came up with was you got to play what you enjoy first of all mm. playing playing stuff that you don't enjoy just to get viewership is not going to get your viewership again because it's you know you're not enjoying it and why would anyone watch you not enjoying yourself um build social media it is it is a part of it unfortunately you can't really like progress too far on twitch without um unless you have like the unless you go completely viral after after one stupid thing or i suppose people who um are kind of semi-pro or professional gamers that that but that that is there, I suppose, social media and um that would help them with viewership, but you really do need to attack all sides of social media and stuff like YouTube and stuff, um, to try and um put your name out there more as well and get different different angles and different sides of people to come into your stream. Um again, turn off the viewer account. I it was the best thing I ever did. Um it just makes me do it and then that kind of leads on to the whole consistency thing is what the last one I would say um consistency um it's very important because like I know myself even I would be you know I'm a big Nick Marks fan and he went away there for a week and a half or so there about a week ago and no totally allowed to do that because he was after putting on the barbecue and you know then he he, he went on then to have time with his mods and stuff like that um but everyone was like oh my god when is he coming back <laughs> and like people were just waiting and waiting and that's what you want you want someone to say oh it's three o'clock in the afternoon sharon's on streaming i'll go on and watch her and then if they see oh sharon's not streaming oh maybe that's not you know a consistent thing and um yeah, I know. It's just the consistency thing. It just it, it makes things a lot easier for everyone, I think. Um, it does it. And I think the viewer count comes into that because you people get discouraged by the viewer count and think, oh, I know myself, even last week, kind of viewership was very low on two of my streams. I was like, oh, you know, when I looked at the, the Twitch recap that you get sent, I was like, oh, man, you know. Um, kind of, I got got a bit fed up for like two minutes, and I was like, "Hang on a second, you're just gonna keep going again." And then I did a stream Saturday night, I think, and I did did really well. Um, I really enjoyed myself. So it's the the viewer count turning that off prevents you from 
feeling like there's no point in being live. There's always a point in being live. Like you never know if someone's going to raid you. You never know if someone's going to come in and sub. Or if someone's going to click on your channel for the first time and you're live. Do you know, um, you're not going to like, you're not going to get any views unless you're live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of normally how it works, not like. <laughs> It, it, people forget that though like you know you it's not it's 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 what that way with everything really in life you're not going to get better at something unless you do it you know you'll be shit at it at the start and then you're going to do it and hopefully you know you learn from your mistakes or you you talk to people who know what they're on about and then you're like right okay i'm going to do this a little different or whatever but stopping is not going to make it get better it's just going to yeah. stop it mm -hmm. Do you wanna do anything? I don't like I don't know really like um I, I don't think I've done it long enough to be able to give advice like even if like okay so let's say you were a viewer and or like you've watched other people's streams like from mm -hmm. learning from their streams maybe what what would you think from watching their streams what would you do? A little differently. I honestly don't know. I haven't dedicated enough time to doing streaming to be able to. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't feel confident behind advice that I would give right now. To be honest, I'm I'm the one looking for. <laughs> for that's fine. Oh so, yeah. Uh, so what would be the plans next for your stream in the future, and what's your future goals? I'm going to go first. Like, just being able to set off through the camera. Okay. Go for I'll start again. Um, just in case. Uh, so basically, I would like to build on my community that I already have, and I have a great community. But we just, you know, keep building on it and building the solid um, just the viewership and stuff like that. Um, and like to not rely too much on other people's raids and stuff, just to have the solid, um, the solid viewership. Um. Eventually, I would like to hit partner. Um, eventually, I will hit partner because that's that's the way you got to think about it, really. Um, exactly, but it. I, I, I would really like for streaming to become um, a sort a, a decent source of income for me. Um, it will. It, 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 like I kind of have kind of consider myself towards. The full time streaming kind of scale of things compared to, you know, part time streaming. But I would like to make it a full time job, basically, um, and work with different companies and stuff like that. Um, and then as well, I will hopefully be incorporating more sports into my streaming. I would like to build on. I get a lot my passion for sports passion for, like, um in regards to my stream and maybe making a night for sports or something but, um, um well, you can put your input into yeah that's kind of well, but, what i've got at the moment um, for you know obviously streaming it's a lot of work but also to get off stream mm -hmm. you know for it could take a lot it t it's draining and mental health and everything wise what would you do um to de-stress from streaming I mean, for me, I'm lucky that the majority of the time when I'm streaming, it's with people that I enjoy playing with and 
um, that I enjoy bouncing off chat and stuff. Now, there is sometimes where you're just playing a game and it's really just... How do I put this? Not in too graphic a terms. It's really just, you know... It's smacking you in the ass, really. And it's like, that's not the... Like, literally, that is not the graphic term that I was thinking of, but... It's just, it's just you're not you're not doing well in the game, and sometimes you have those days where you're whatever I'm playing Fortnite and I'm playing Arena or whatever, and it's just not going your way, and it can be very hard then to oh keep up chat and stuff. Um, but winding down afterwards, I try I try and find um a good balance between you know I've stu- studying and stuff, um, and working for the stream and stuff. And then I I do I I love my sports again so that kind of you know last night now yesterday was my day off I went to see family I went to see my grandparents and then I came home had a bit of food and watched the NFL for the evening um so that was kind of my way of relaxing um I'm still I still kind of struggle a little bit with the balance of you know working hard you know to put my best foot forward when it comes to streaming and in college and stuff as well um but and then relaxing but I, as i said i'm quite lucky that the majority of the time when i'm streaming i really enjoy it and i really i'm having a great time and i'm um, in, in regards to kind of competitively with fortnite the majority of the time i'm building arena points or you know i'm doing well in competition and stuff so it's not too bad um but yeah, it's it's definitely important as well to know. For me, when I when I stream, I don't want to stream if I'm like you know whatever. I wouldn't want to stream if I'm in a bad mood. But I don't like before I get on stream. If I'm in a bad mood, I make sure I'm not in a bad mood because it's that's not the the person that I put out in my stream is someone who I want. To make people laugh and to just so that people you're you're providing entertainment so nobody wants to watch someone get really sad or upset or be you know angry on stream do you know like it, it's okay to have flashes of it throughout streaming um because people are only human or whatever but it's it's so important for me anyway to to push uh, po- to produce a positive stream environment that uh, if i'm really really not feeling well mentally or physically i'm like no it's, it's just not gonna it's not gonna happen um kind of last month i struggled a lot that way with trying to separate you know separate myself from things that were going on and then to stream as well so but this month it's a little bit easier because stuff's kind of relaxed or whatever um and i suppose you're always going to get those times but um as in regards to kind of community, I think hopefully once things start building up as well, community wise, people like even if I came into chat, came into the stream and you know said to chat, look, been having one of those days, you know, you, uh, the intention, the expectation, I suppose, would really to to have people to you know boost you up a little bit or tell you something funny or you know, and eventually you kind of come around from it then. Um, but I guess that's harder than when you have a smaller community and you don't really have people chatting a lot. So, um, so yeah, that that kind of I I do feel like uh, when a strong community is built, um, that'll help towards feeling a little bit not not um, necessarily feeling more motivated, but feeling more okay going, going on stream. What do we think? Not feeling hundred percent, knowing that you, know, if, if you will if, eventually you laugh your tits off, like you know. And they're not responding or chatting in the interactive with the, the chat. What? I mean, I appreciate it. I like. Yeah, like I do that a lot with you. If I can't, like, mm-hmm. if if I'm in the middle of doing something. Like up up at my setup, I'll have your streams open on the laptop if I'm over doing something with Martina or whatever, just to 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 help out with the views or whatever. But I I don't think there's anything hassle with it. I mean, definitely as a smaller streamer, lurkers lurkers are important because they help 
they help towards getting goals like affiliate and stuff. Um, but then I suppose then it does come to the stage where you're like, yeah. can someone just please talk to me? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. You know, someone say something. I don't care if you say that you just like shit your pants. I don't care. Just say something. Uh, to me. Like the way the way I do it, it's it's more that when I see one of you streaming, mm-hmm. that I do want to to be able to support you in the stream, but it would be at the point where I just I can't actually be active in the chat. So that's why I um, I would lurk. What would totally. uh, the advice you would give yourself? Oh, it's just a little a just little way to, to support. Oh, but I do get what you're on about about having someone to, to talk to and all right, that type of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um I get what you mean. But like what advice would I give Nolly get to start the streaming? I think <laughs> I suppose you'd want to keep it simple. Um, for me not to stress too much about equipment. I stressed a lot about equipment and stuff. No, I'm not like I'm. I, I'm so okay with pushing as well, like getting the PC and stuff, building the PC and building my studio because I do intend to push on with streaming and make it uh, an income. Um, and I just kind of treat that as investing in my future, I suppose, a little bit. Um, but. Definitely at the start, I worried way too much about, you know, oh my God, I'm not overlays. Oh my God, you know, people You don't. did give yourself a hard time at the start, even when you were on the PlayStation 4, I remember. You were just kind of fed up of having the 4. Yeah, like I was just like, oh, this is so bad. Like, yeah. you know, I can't, like I couldn't, I did things with alerts and stuff like that. You know, you kind of, look, you're looking at other streamers and you're like, oh my God, if only I could do that, whatever. Whereas, as I said, I have, I watch a girl and she's hilarious like and we're we're good friends now because of streaming and all she does is stream off a of playstation 4 i don't think it's the playstation 5 i think it's playstation 4 and like she's got a great following and like she's hilarious and she has her commands and stuff set up so she's on that track um but yeah definitely i wouldn't be as hard as, on myself as i was and the viewer count thing definitely just turned that off mm-hmm. um for myself, obviously, I'm only starting off, but the way I'm, like, I'm not killing myself streaming, obviously, because I haven't done it in, I'd say, three weeks now, just because work has been hectic the past couple of weeks. Um, Not to burn yourself out doing it constantly at the start, I would say. Because, like, if I, if, if I was streaming every single day now after work, like yesterday I was working 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. If I came home and streamed for, what, three or four hours, I would be absolutely shattered. I wouldn't, I'd lose out on nearly a whole day today yeah. as well. I wouldn't have been able to do any of this with you. Like I'm off today and tomorrow now. So I'm actually planning on hopefully doing stuff tonight or whatever. But um, the only times I get around to doing it is is if I have the energy after work, basically. Because yeah. work, work can be very draining the best of times. Um, and I need to be in the mood to be able to sit down and play for f- four hours like i i don't think i've had a stream that's been le- like less than at least four hours i've always stayed on for a good amount of time because I, I wouldn't hop on for like an hour and then leave it and even after work i might have like one game of rocket league and turn it off and then that'll be it because i'm just not i don't have the energy to to be able to 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 like the entertainment part of me would be gone after work yeah. majority of the time depending on how long I was in work or the hours or, or the time of day or whatever. So I'm not, I'm not killing myself at the start. Now, as I was saying, I do want to, to transition over to the laptop and stream through the laptop. So I feel when I'm able to get all that type of stuff done, then I'll be able to set up a proper schedule maybe. Mm-hmm. Because I, as I was saying, there is stuff going on in work at the moment that I need to, to finish before I can focus on anything else. Um, so um, yeah, just my, not my burn question. yourself out at the start. Don't kill yourself if you have uh, a small little com- if you have a small little bit of, of a community at the start, like work with that and, and just see how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, girl, Amsterdam. Yes. I'm going to have my own stand <laughs> at TwitchCon. I want to go. 
<laughs> I, think I think we're going. Great. I think it would be absolute <laughs> great crack. Especially Amsterdam. Oh my God. I'd say it would be unreal. I'd be over in Amsterdam and I'd be like, da 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 da. It's the motherfucking DOWG's new town. No, I'd say it would be it would be great and just and meeting people as well. If if there was a lot of people that you were watching oh, or whatever going, I mean that that would be great. Like a great opportunity to just Why mingle, to say it, maybe possible the, future opportunities, um, collabs yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like it would be great and all that. Totally. I'm just yeah. saying our top priority while Holiday. planning TwitchCon is safety and we closely follow Why? local health guidelines and recommendations. What if next year? It should be fine. Wait, no, sorry. <laughs> what did you say, Shay? Yeah. That's just literally if the world blows up with COVID again. I'd say it, it would... Um, oh, yeah. They'd probably have a limited capacity kind of thing. I don't know. Like, I I think it would be great. Like I went to that GamerCon thing that was on up in Dublin one year, and even just being in the environment of having all that stuff around you, it was so cool. Because that was my first kind of big event that I went to. I went to smaller ones down in Clarny and stuff like that. But the, the big this was in the convention center on multiple levels. And they had a few streamers there. Ali oh, yeah, was no, there and Claire yeah. Siobhan. I don't know if you, you you know them. Um, there Claire Siobhan plays more kind of. I don't know. There was a cooking game she was playing one day, but she she's okay, really mama. nice. Yeah, she she's really really nice. Yeah, um, I had a chat with her. She's lovely. And Ali is the same. Um, oh, but um, camera. it was it was cool just to experience <laughs> something like that. So I I definitely hand down if I can go to Amsterdam, I'd be going like hundred p. And I'll bring my camera. Uh, <laughs> I'll follow I'll follow you around, lad. I'll follow you around. <laughs> I I'll be mind... vlogging for me for my YouTube channel. Great I don't mind doing that at all. <laughs> okay. I'll strap my I'll strap my action camera to my chest then as well. Let's get all the angles. I love chests. <laughs> angles. Your TikTok. Everything is glitched with an age instead of the. D R D E. Get this right D. now, Nolly. Get this right. <laughs> you know me. I I, I always think of the D. Yeah, and, your TikTok's uh, different. Uh, so I've glitched. So it's G L I T C H eight D. Um. So that's my Twitch. That's my. Uh, I'm glitched central on YouTube. Um. TikTok is just that gay girl. <laughs> um. It, not because of gay. Um, and then yeah. my Instagram is just that girl ninety eight. Um, do I have any other ones? Your, your Twitter. Top? You skipped your Twitter. Well, my Twitter is glitched. Mm-hmm. I think that's the only one that's actually just glitched by Twitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everything else is fancy because someone else um, took the huge name. My Twitch name is Heya. It's Sharon. My Instagram is also Heya. It's Sharon. That's um I actually don't have any gaming stuff up on that at the moment. I've it's more just random stuff I throw up there here and there. Um I Twitter. For talk for no, no, no. That's I'll say that in a second. Oh, okay, um <laughs> Twitter then is hey yeah, it's Sharon as well. I try to keep it easy to find me. Um I'm mostly active on Twitter. Um always active on Twitter to be honest, scrolling. Um I also have a photography Instagram that I'm uh it's kind of taken off a little it's it's not bad at the moment it is s r underscore photography one as well so i'll be putting up bits and pieces on that of it's really good kind of around my around the place travels and it's mostly um like landscape photography at the moment but i am trying to get into concert photography so if there's anyone that's starting a band and once a free photographer <laughs> hit me up because <laughs> I need to build a portfolio before I can get Honestly, a job do doing it. that. Oh, I just got it. I need a, I need a, I need a portfolio before I can get into any venues or anything like that. So, yeah, that's me, and then you'll be fine.
I guess that's <laughs> she's calling me out. <laughs> no. Yes, Martina. You tell her who's boss girl. She doesn't let me in the ra- in the room oh, when yeah. she's recording the radio, so <laughs> I think that's um, fair. Yeah. New that's butter. Fun. It's gonna I be a lot of Mullig's voice. So What's it? No, I'm sure there is well. It's really good. <laughs> If you like the sound of my voice, come to Twitch for slash G L I T C H eight D. That was a good promo, wasn't it? Thank you, Nolig, and thank you, Sharon, for doing the podcast episode. Uh, make sure to follow them on their social medias and follow them on Twitch. Make sure uh, you let them know that you came from the podcast if you aren't going to follow them. And with that, that's really it. That is it, the episode. I think this is possibly the longest episode I've had so far on the podcast. I'm pretty sure it is. It's, it's the longest. But um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to follow me on my social medias. They're all going to be in the bio or the profile edit thing. I don't know what it's called. Is it profile? Uh, aka uh, Shay Spills Podcast or if you want to follow my gaming stuff it's Shilano Gaming on Instagram and Facebook but it's Shilano on Twitter thank you all for watching listening watching I'm always saying watching because I'm so used to it for streaming <laughs> but thank you for listening and I will see you guys all very soon with another episode coming very soon um yeah, I was just been waiting really for the numbers of this um, for the podcast. I wasn't sure if people were going to say yes, and people have, which is lovely. So I have to plan those interviews very soon. But this is the first one. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to review this on Apple Podcast. Share this from Spotify Podcast if you're from listening from there as well, or anywhere else you can get your podcast from. And with that, I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye. <laughs>